Yot Har in dry dock has different form comparing with the same load Hal in the sea. Hal deformation strongly affects the alignment. Four different points means bad alignment results and possibly creates overheating of bearings or gearboxes, excess hull vibration and rubber unbounded from cutlass bearing. To achieve success alignment, first of all, we define by laser the elastic line of the yacht hull, includes decks and bulkheads in the sea, and then we copy this in the dry dock. Longitudinally, we achieve that supported on the hull on the proper size wooden wedge and at the transfer direction by choose proper supports position and its reactions. Yachts dry docking by lift, the copy are controlled by lift belts. Copy the ship hull in the dry dock as in the sea. We put a laser source outside of shafting system and measure the bushy center deviation from the laser beam taken that as reference. Result of the measurement you can see in 3D and zoom mode in the pictures. Additional results from multi-session laser section deviation is the ovality of bushes and soft bend test in situ if needed. In addition of Bush's center deviation, the perpendicular deviation of reference beam with the gearbox or main engine output flange measured as well and jack up test carry out by load cells at its intermediate bearings. Hull vibration has similar form with the shafting alignment but with smaller amplitude and strong axial vibrations. For twin screw or twin Z yachts, the parallel of both shafting and center line vertical plane of the hull is of the main importance. For the new buildings, the point out the center line vertical plane is a difficult problem solved by symmetry criterion of the bulkhead's position. Temporary supports used during V-bracket positioning to avoid welding deformations. Special measurement taken for the garden couplings deviation to verify that operates into the maker's limits. For shafting systems, direct coupling with main engine, the thrust bearing position is the most sensitive action for the alignment affects both shafting and main engine, checked it by deflection as well.